So we know that investors have a lot of money and a little bit of time. What is your advice to include in a pitch or start a pitch off with to keep them listening and, and wanting to build that partnership? So I think a couple of things. One, go in with passion. Because, and pa I mean, the two people on this table are very loud. <laughs> but, but you don't have to be loud, but you have to be passionate. So get that passion across because people will connect with you first. Then get to the idea real quick in terms of why. As the French say, the raison d'être. What's the reason mm -hmm. for being? Why are you there? And then the last thing is I need some numbers. And you see on Shark Tank, everyone gets excited and then the guy or the lady starts speaking about numbers and they're a little bit dodgy or they've burnt a million dollars to create 200,000 in sales. You're like, hmm, that seems a little bit upside down. Get me to numbers that show proof of concept. So I prefer that you've got a million dollars in sales in Chicago only versus a million dollars in sales nationwide. Because now I'm showing mm -hmm. the depth of engagement. You're showing there's a, this is a real idea. When you just spread it like butter on toast, it's too thin. I want to go deep. Great, thank you. Really good advice. Isn't this riveting? <laughs> My husband has he, what makes these wonderful cannolis. And since we don't have the celebrity sponsorship that you're talking about, how would you put us out there as far as branding where everybody would want that cannoli? Interesting. Would well, you have some for me here? Or? I'm sorry, <laughs> I didn't bring any. He's at home. I think the, the biggest part of that pitch that's missing is the <laughs> actual is the cannoli. Actual cannoli. I'm, like, I'm uh, sorry, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> yeah, next time, please. Oh, bring next the time, I promise. Um, next time, I promise. So, a, a couple of things. One in 10 Americans influence the other nine. You've got to find that one. And that one does not necessarily today have to be a celebrity. The beauty about what's happening today is you've got people across social media, both nationwide, mm -hmm. regionally, et cetera, that can start building that brand for you. So one, try and connect with influencers, not necessarily celebrities, who work for what you're talking about. So for you, it might be food bloggers. It might be people. Where do you live? California, San Jose. Okay. So if you're in that region, the people who talk about food and discovering stuff and people follow, you don't need 10 million people overnight. You need half a million people to know about mm -hmm. your product. The second is where. There's certain places that people discover, right? A Whole Foods is you can discover. Right. You, know, you may not discover necessarily some of the big, huge grocery stores, but some of the smaller, more boutique stores, and people still go out. Even in this day and age, you still go out and live life. Find those outlets that people discover that stuff that's new, because that's what gets written about. You, you have them in New York still. You have the cheesecake place, the Lower East Side, that everyone goes to. That's the places you've got to get into. And then the third part is create some brand around your cannoli. Because cannolis, I mean, everyone makes cannolis. Right. Why is yours different? What's your brand? OK, thank you. Why is your cannoli different? Because <laughs> it's, it's from Sicily, the maker. Gotcha. OK, so you have an authentic okay. baking story. See, that's, that's a real part there. Mm -hmm. That's got to be core to it. Mm -hmm. That's got to be core to it. Next time, bring the Sicilian cannoli. I will. <laughs> I promise. And Bobby and I Leave the gun. Take the cannoli. <laughs> Were we supposed to do some of those drinks that Kevin's been holding for a really oh, yeah. long time? So what are these <laughs> examples of? Well, one of the things people asked about is how do you differentiate? And I'm saying packaging is mm. a huge thing. Without celebrities, without influencers, people gravitate to imagery. Mm. And so this is the husband and wife pair came on a Shark Tank. Right. I love them. She had ailments. She, was, she wanted to feel better. She wanted apple cider vinegar, but honestly, that makes you gag. So she's <laughs> like, how do I put it in a product and make it taste good? So she brought Mother on set. So this is Mother, which was nice, right? Right. Product was amazing. I hated the package. Yeah. It was an uh, And I can't even try to work the word Mother, because everyone has one. Um, so we created this. It's like, amazing. That's the same product. Same product. Get it? And when we put this on shelf in Whole Foods, people went, went crazy. Went bananas. And that, if you guys want to do something, your number one thing is your package. Because today, you will automatically gravitate to this. That's right. Over this. And once you try it, you're in. <laughs> he could do this all day. All day. And he does. <laughs> and luckily, we can watch him do it, too.